The German Leopard 2 tank was developed over 40 years ago, but since then it has up been upgraded. The Leopard 2 was manufactured by the now Krasmaf I Wegman in Munich, but 45% of that production was also carried out by MAK, now Rheinmetall, in Kiel. Rheinmetall have extensive experience in tank technology, particularly in the areas of firepower and protection. And what they've done in this vehicle, this is called the MBT Advanced Technology Demonstrator. In previous life, it was always called MBT Revolution, but people thought that was rather inappropriate in some parts of the world. So what does this vehicle do? What it does is brings together all of Rheinmetall's experience. The basic power pack is the same, so what have they done? They've taken out the electroholic gun control equipment and put in an all-electric drive system in. It's still got the 120mm smoothbore gun, but it can also have the longer one. If you look around the front, it's got increased armour protection over the turret and over the front of the vehicle. And if you look to the right there, you will see cameras which give the crew situation awareness through 360 degrees. Above that are the Rossi grenade launchers which can fire at obscurance and either side of that are laser detectors and also on the side is a hard kill defensive aid system. So if a missile comes in and it's a threat that will activate and kill it all. Inside totally different. Look on the roof, it's got a remote weapon station. That is also quite different. It's got, it combines the commander's independent sighting system with a remote weapon station. This particular one is armed with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, but some other customers will probably have a 50 cal machine gun. So, who's bought the tank? Well, first of all, um, Indonesia bought some tanks. Some of those were really just refurbished, but some of them were upgraded to the Leopard 2 Republic of Indonesia standard. More recently, they've got a big contract from Poland to upgrade those tanks to a new standard. Some of that work will be carried out in Poland as a technology transfer. So, some of this stuff will pull through to the Challenger 2 Life Extension Program. There are two competitors of that. One is BA Systems and the other is Ryan Metal. Obviously the idea of that is to replace some of the subsystems, but what they've learned in production of the Leopard 2 for the German Army and the upgraded ones for Indonesia and Poland, they've got a lot of experience in pulling other things together to make the tank work. So this is just one example of what you can do with a tank which was originally developed over 40 years ago to keep it state of the art. The basic power pack has not been changed, so really the improvements are in survivability and firepower. In addition to the fire of the old types of ammunition, it can also fire the uh, latest um, DM-11 airburst munition and also the latest DM-63 fin stabilised round. So, Leopard 2 advanced technology, just to show customers what Rheinmetall can bring to the table in the areas of tank technology.